Hey friends, we're back with episode two of the main saga of Toymaker. So far, this adventure has been awesome. It's been the exact thing I needed to kind of switch up the content on my channel just a little bit. You guys have been asking me for a longer playthrough similar to something like this, and I promise this won't be the only long playthrough we do on this channel. I'm excited to continue with this journey, but before we get started, I wanted to talk to you guys about one little thing. Recently, someone reached out to me and asked if I could do an interview for them for a college paper. They were doing the paper on indie horror games, and they wanted to get some of my insight and experience with the genre. Now, of of course I said yes because this is a topic I am very, very passionate about. And something came up in the conversation that really resonated with me and I wanted to talk to all of you guys about it. The question was kind of like, why indie horror? Why is that something you choose to make content out of? Why is that something you're going to continue to focus on from here on out? And to me, it's a pretty simple answer actually. Allowing ourselves to be afraid of something is inherently vulnerable. Whether we want to admit it or not, outwardly expressing fear shows our vulnerability. I believe that all of us feeling those feelings together at the same time connects us in kind of a different way. Well, it connects us differently than other genres do at least. Sure, the stories and lore of horror games are really interesting, but everyone feeling the same vulnerable feelings together in this unique experience we have is something special. And I very much believe that it connects us in a special way. Do you feel the same way? I love you guys and I cannot wait to continue this adventure with you. With that being said, here we go, continuing with the Toy Maker. So if you guys remember, we just made it to the Gnome Village. I am resisting the knee-jerk reaction to call these guys Smurfs. So, it was clear last time that the village is very nervous that we have a party member that they've previously kicked out due to her likely succumbing to the Frost Crafter's disease, or whatever you want to call it. The Frost. The Frost Blight, if you will. Customers, customers, here to trade. Oh, I'm actually very curious to see what this merchant has. I didn't even think about that. Okay, so everybody is now equipped with padded shields and bronze knives. So much more appropriately outfitted for the coming perils. This is Kuma. Humans, herders, you're strangers here like me. This is a reindeer. I'm a traveler, a nodge in training. I guide the elements, leading them to my torques. My runes, they can protect you. Never forget. There's always a cost. Hmm, there's always a cost. Do torques have a cost? Tell me about the elements. Four elements to bring balance to the world. Okay, we learned about these. Four elements to break your bones. There are things and masters that can bend the elements, attacking with them. They leave scars, deep scars, that slowly wither away. Which element would you like to know about? Oh, okay, this is really useful because I didn't exactly know what these status effects did. The roots, they twist and curl by their own accord. They are the rot. They decay everything alive. They are change. The root attacks can plant their seeds in you, making you rot from the inside. Ugh. Damaging you the most over time by all the elements. Yeah, root, I noticed, does an incredible amount of damage. Um. Okay, so let me go ahead and... Let's see, what does Frost do? Freezes everything in touch, making the world cold and unchangeable. Their attacks will break your quickness and make you slow down. Okay, that makes sense. But it also does damage. So what's the difference between that and snow? Snow, the element of storm and roaring winds. The snow attacks make you frail and weak, taking away your mind. Okay, so special moves that require mind. First the mind with the weaker attacks, then your toughness, and finally... With their strongest attacks, the snow will take away your strength. Okay. So it's like a huge debuff, too. And then what does spirit do? Spirit, the spark of life, the green flames in the winter night. Spirit attacks can twist your mind, turning you mad and bloodthirsty. The stronger attacks can even make you attack your own friends. Whoa, but they hurt the least over time. Okay. That's actually very good to know. Let me see what Torx he has. I don't have much money left after buying all that stuff, so... Makes user immune to bleed effects. 50% resistant to spirit effects? Root effects? Hmm. 
These are pretty good. I'm gonna buy a frost one. Okay, we have no money. Just in case we run into some frost abilities here. Humans here? I brought them here. Sake? You were banished like the others. Not like them. Look at my hair. Flowers, they don't wither. What does that mean? The frost is not spreading. What are you talking about? How is that possible? You have been touched by the frost crafter, dear sweet Sake. His curse is in you, the frost. It grows until it's only dark ice left. It happens to all the others and it will happen to you too. I am different. Remember Toivio, the old machinist? He and Ka would never have banished me, never. Remember how many died because of that? Even Toivio turned in the end. Is she just different for some reason? Or is there something in her blood like Ellie in The Last of Us? Or is it the flower she has on her head? I'm, I'm not... Is she immune to the Frost Crafter's effects? I have spoken. It's for the good of all. What will happen when the ice spreads, hmm? Should we all die for you? Please, understand. <sighs> yeah, I mean... It's tricky, like, if, if the Frost Crafter's Blight is that dangerous, you know, you could wipe out a whole village. And now, humans, it's been a while since we've seen your kind. Yeah, we've gathered that. Please, it's getting late. Stay the night here, let me talk to you. And me? You brought them here. They are my friends. Really? Yes, she's our friend. Yes. Yeah, come on, we gotta, we gotta say she's our friend. She's fought battles with us. I see. I guess she can stay, as long as she doesn't touch anyone and leaves with you. Yes. Now, let me prepare some food for you. While I love the idea of having another party member, it's kind of sad what... she's going through. Here we go. Oh, okay. Let's talk to our party members. Hmm. Pale. Strange to be here among other gnomes. Blind, lost gnomes. Hmm. Well, we know why the gnomes don't like her. You mentioned your workshop. Yes, we used to work for the toy maker long ago. Toy maker. He's changed, grew stranger, colder, looked at children differently. Yeah, it's interesting. I guess this is this game's representation of Santa's elves. Only a story don't know the truth, was not there. Moved up to the mountain, left us alone, started hunting humans. You know more about that. Doesn't matter, he's dead now. Right? No, we know the toy maker's not dead. Disappeared, only the frost crafter remains, his lost servant. Strange and old. Now we hide. It was better when the toy maker ruled. Was it? You want something, Buttercup? Um... I'm not gonna say what's your issue with me, because we know that. Do you think Tyke... No, I wanted to hope, but no. He ain't coming back. He died fighting off those creatures. He fought for the flock. <sighs> to Tyke. To Tyke. Drink. I. I have a feeling Tyke's not dead. I think we're going to see him later. Is he going to be the fourth party member? You know, who knows, but I think we're going to see him later. I hope the food is to your liking. It is warm. It's good as hell. Uh, yeah, agreed. Good as hell. Yes. Now you're trying to get back to your village, correct? Ah, uh, you know a way. How you came over those mountains, I can't say. But you're not going back that way, no. The old caves have all collapsed. How? By us. Ah. When the Frost Crafter broke our workshop, we destroyed them. So why break the way to us? I've only ever heard stories about the Frost Crafter. A god. He served the Toy Maker. The Toy Maker's dead. Just gas sunshine over there. We've heard the stories from the reindeer, but I couldn't. Are you him? 
What do you mean, him? Am I the toy maker? Am I the frost crafter? What are you talking about? I'm gonna say nothing. Aye. He's the bastard that scared away the toy maker. Unbelievable. I know. Okay, that's who they're talking about. Hmm. Then you understand why we broke the tunnels. In case he... returned. Yes, it is the children he wants. The human children. With the tunnels closed, he won't come this way. Explains a lot. What exactly does he want from human children? North, past the reindeer, we can take that path. We? You need a guide. The curse does not affect humans, only gnomes. Yeah, why the hell not? That way could work, through the reindeer town. Oh, I can't wait for that. They're proud creatures, warriors, killers. Don't trust them. They hate humans, you know. The horn hunters saw to that. Ah, that's probably what horn hunters means. So there were a group of humans that maybe exclusively hunted reindeer? Are we going to see Rudolph? Oh, Rudolph the red-nosed reindeer had a very shiny nose. Though I guess you don't really have a choice, huh? Guess not. Go to our, our old workshop. Say that five times fast. It might be a path north through there, past the dark ice. Old workshop. Frostcrafter's home now. Yes, that's right. Well, this has been nice, but I can't really keep my eyes open longer. Ready to go to bed? Yeah, let's sleep. Good. Oh, and before you go, our new foreman spoke of a scald. Apparently the scald is here waiting for someone. It's not Mara, is it? From the prologue? New foreman? Kaz the foreman. Stop it. He is. He disappeared when the workshop fell. He's either dead or one of the frost creatures. Ka. Either way, the Scald is here in the village. If you need guidance on your way, he should be able to help. They are a strange bunch, keep mostly to themselves, but no one knows more lore than the Scalds. You should talk to him. A Scald? Haven't seen one of their kind in a long time. Strange that he'd come by now. wonder who that could be. Maybe it's a new scald, though. We don't know. We don't know. No. Oh. You... You'll never win. Frostwind. Is... Some... What is going on? We already have, brother. This is a candle holder. What's happening? No. Find peace in the warmth. Is he turning from the frost crafter's blight? I mean, I guess you put him out of his misery. Shame. Peko's the one that lights the fires. He keeps us warm in the cold. That's sad. Who is this that keeps running around town? Can't talk to him. Who is this? Is this the Scald? A harvester! Hello. Friends. Look here, creepy man. What the hell are you doing in the gnome village? You ain't no herder. Oh. Waiting for you, of course. You have done such a good job cleaning up these woods of all those... things. Those crawling, creeping things that the gods have forgotten about. Me and my kin would like to give you this reward for your good little slaughter. That human, he is strange. What is this? A sickle? Hook. Now, excuse me, I must take my leave. Um, is that... The skull? Interesting. Or is that a human? I wonder who can have Iron Hook. Two-handed weapon, it seems. It's a good weapon. Your toughness goes down a lot, but your quickness increases dramatically. So, let's see. Who has some of the highest strength values? I'm going to go ahead and give that to oh, but pale has more health let's 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 give it to pale because pale has more health that'll work and we'll do frost torque okay 
Boom, boom, done. This house. I don't know if we're welcome in here. Okay, I will take your word for it. Can I rest here? Sake, don't touch me. Ugh. You humans, do you know what you have with you? A friend. Friend? I thank you, Pale. You're crazy. Okay, just because she's met with a terrible fate doesn't mean you have to treat her like that. You again? There can be gnome skulls? Okay, we're learning more about this world as we go. Machinist, he sent us. Guide of the soul, speaker of runes, remember. Human? The ones that burn and hang my kin? No matter, we all hear the words. Where does your path lie? To the old workshop. Yes, where the dark ice rules. That is where your path is. What are you really? Scald. Yeah, I'm with you that far, though what are you? What are you? Me and my kin, we walk the world guiding people, keeping the lore from the nothingness. What is the nothingness? The nothingness? When people forget, then it is lost from the world. We remember. We believe. Or else the nothingness takes the lore, the world, and nothing remains. I think I get it. It's more of like a concept. Really? Yeah, he's crazy. <laughs> it doesn't matter what you think. I can guide you along your path. Hmm. What? Teacher, he can show us skills, magic, other things from runes. They do not share their secrets. This is a special case. I can teach you something so you don't lose your path. I can offer you three different paths to follow. Such as, I can teach you the way of the Nutcracker, the Frostwind, and the Missile Holder. Oh, okay, these are like classes in this world. Each path excludes the other, but may fork into different paths further down the road. Talk to me again when you want to choose your path. I want to choose my path. Back again, are you ready to let me guide you through a new path? Yes, guide me. Which one wants to learn a new path? Remember to buy new equipment for the ones for the one that finds its new path. Oh, that's probably what all that... Damn. Okay, let's do Sake first. I'm sorry, you lack the experience to walk this path yet? Return when you have the 10th level of enlightenment. Okay, level 10. Good to know. Skaldic stone glowing with belief, alive. All right. Um, I think we're ready to go. We need to level up though, that's for sure. Our journey continues. How you guys feeling? You know, a lot of, uh, a lot of information there. This runestone is alive. The runes glow. This game is a lot of lore, a lot of story. So if that's what you came looking for, hopefully you're already excited by everything we've learned. You know, we learn so much about this world the more we play. And it's really cool to kind of experience, you know, everyone's creativity. Or, you know, the game developer's creativity. So where are we then? One herb. Just follow the path, I guess. Through the woods. Campsite. Have we been here before? I'm starting to second guess myself. Let me check down here. Because there are multiple of these paths. I don't see any enemies. These are just snowmen. These guys are easy at this point. I'm surprised we're not one-shotting them. Or not two-shotting them either. Snow wraiths and snow gas? This is... We fought them before. And yet these guys are kicking our butts. Come on. Good lord, this damage. I'm not doing any special abilities. I didn't think I'd need to. The quickness definitely does help. Like, his... His... Meter increases so much faster than it used to. Okay. Fraudra grew to level 6. Good. We leveled up at least. Have I been here before? And this is... 
An iron spear. Okay. Ooh. A reindeer. Reindeer, what is it doing here? Can we talk? Huh? Erko. A gnome? Do you work for him? What? Him? What are you talking about? What are you even doing here? Reindeers live to the north. Oh, nothing. I said nothing. Please, let me dig in peace. Okay, are all the reindeers like that? Who is him? Because I don't think we work for anyone. I don't think anyone in my party works for anybody. Okay, here's some frost guys. Frost spawner, one of you. Okay, that's fine. We can probably kill you in three hits. Four hits. Okay, these guys have more health than I thought. Thank you. Two hits. These guys go down, though. They're very weak. Okay, good. So let's continue on. I don't really know... I know we have to head in the general direction of north, but I don't know exactly what that entails. I think we're going in circles. What? I don't understand why that reindeer was being so strange. There's something there. Hmm, it smells cold and wet. His spawn. Watch out for its armor of ice. Ah, crap. Jump scare. What the hell is this? Um, lowers enemy's mind and toughness, finds enemy weakness and gains speed. Uh, find enemy weakness, gain speed. Oh, who needs more speed? We'll do... Fraja. Skill. Uh, we'll soothe. Pale. Can't attack with normal weapons. Its ice wall shield is protecting it from them. So what... Oh my god. Um, shoot. Cold defense for caster? This is not good. Lowers enemy's mind and toughness. Oh, this is... Yeah, okay. So we... Damn it, we can't hurt the bastard. Its armor's too strong. Oh, were we supposed to lose that? I just hit flee. Oh, here's Ka. He's not dead. I just hit flee thinking I would die. Okay, he just one-shot the dude. I was about to say, that guy was ridiculously strong. I was just going to game over and then heal up and try to fight him again. You. Hee <laughs> hee. Wait, Ka. Yeah, she speaks. Speaks. It's me. Sake. Speaks. Sake. They sent you away. Yes, yes. Away. I returned. What happened to you? Dead? No, not dead. Alive? Or dead? I think this guy's kind of lost his marbles. Huh. You tried to kill one of these spawns without fire. Burn. Their armor only melts from pure fire. Then you can hack at them again. We have spirit attacks. Spirit fire? Eh? You need real pure fire, not that diluted stuff. Pure burning. Here, take some of my fire sticks. Wait! Do we have a fire spell? Hmm? We're going to the old workshop. My home. The frost, we need to pass it. You, you. Haven't you touched enough ice, Sake? Huh? Will you help us? Who are they, humans? This Ka guy is very eccentric, we can say. Pale, Fraja, friends. Friends? So you're gonna help? Huh. I know paths, I know how to hide, I know many things. As do I. Not anymore, not with all that ice. You won't survive more than a few steps out there. Ka, what would you do? Go back to hiding? Hiding? No. I've been hunting. Killing? Burning? Hmm. Yes. I can guide you past the ice, I can. Yes. I can. 
All right. So he's a party member. Okay. That's pretty big. Are we... We're decently healed up. Not quite full, but good enough. I was about to say, like, that... That damage that thing was doing was crazy. What is it now, crazy little man? Look at this. What is it? Red berries by the toy maker. These are good. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Berries. They're just berries. Fresh red berries. Not dried, not cooked, not some disgusting mush. Just fresh red berries. Bleeding red, moist juice. Yes, they used to grow by the workshop. Many things grew there. Aye, but not anymore. Flowers used to grow by the workshop. Blue petals like ice. Now frozen like everything else. <laughs> Don't care. Got my red berries. You do know they're frozen in ice, right? So? Not exactly fresh. Fresh enough. Um, Say, I love red berries. Yeah, well, you ain't getting any. These are mine. They don't really look that good. You say that like I'm going to share. Toyvio used to pick them. I remember. Here, you can have. No. I cannot touch them. They would spoil. Uh, yes, right. Yes, spoil. Hmm. Well, more for me then. Okay, interesting cutscene. I think that was mainly meant to convey that they missed Toyvio. So now here we are. Walking another stretch of ice. Feel that? What? What do you want about now? Now? He's right. There's something there. Another one of these guys. One of the frost spawns. Monster. Burn that bastard to hell. Here we go. Uh, let's go ahead and do that. So, item... Fire stick. And now we can fight him? Yes. Cause a bow. Frost all. Good lord. And until he uses... Oh my goodness, this damage. Can I, like... Heal? Possibly? Um... Hmm... Heal plus cold defense for caster. Okay. Well, that's all we got. Skill. Fire Inferno. This is terrible. Um, we're gonna go soothe. We'll do it on Fraja. This is so bad. Please don't... <sighs> Cause that. Okay. We'll heal again. Um, can I soothe again? It's still just soothe one, though. Okay, so I have to use... This is a lot harder than I was anticipating. Fire stick. Let's go ahead and... We'll do that again. Dust two with cold defense. And what can I do? Fight. Please die soon. This is terrible. Please! <sighs> again? I don't... I, I think I might be done for here. But we're gonna go ahead and, and try at least. Unless all of a sudden that kills him? No. Please! Miss, great. That's death. Oh! <sighs> That's over. Swing! Oh my god, with one HP! No way! One HP! Pale was the only one to level up, though. I have a feeling the others didn't get H or didn't get experience. It's melting. Aye, they do that. Is everyone dead? Yes. Um. I'm going to save here real quick and just 
walk forward and see what happens. We're going back to the village real quick. Give me one sec, I'm gonna go back, heal everyone up. Okay, here we are. We have healed fully. And now we are at what I imagine is the old workshop. The workshop, it still stands after all this time. I've tried to bury all of the bodies. There were hundreds, no, thousands of them. Huh. Yeah. Ka. I have not been here, not since I fled. Ka, do you know a way past the ice? I imagine, yes. Yeah, the frost. I've managed to smash it, hold it, burn it away from this building. But it keeps coming. Stronger, harder, more dangerous. Uh, I'm gonna say, where is the frost crafter? Don't know. He's hiding in the dark ice, sending his spawn out to hunt. His call summons the cold, gives form to the snow and the frost. But it gives me more things to hunt, to catch, to burn. <laughs> Good enough for me. Ka, can you take us through past the frost and the frost crafter? <laughs> me? I know this ice better than my own gut. I sleep, I piss, I drink it. Wait, you drink your own piss? <laughs> <laughs> Don't answer that. I can guide you. <laughs> yes, let me show you the way. Yes, show us. Oh, yes. Hee hee hee. This guy's a giggling gamer. Sounds like we ain't got much choice, huh? Can we trust you? Trust? Why? Nothing is constant. Everything changes, even the frost. Why should words be any different? He. Alright, you could have just said no. All right, well, we have a journey with our good buddy Ka here. Let's go ahead back to record one. And this is the workshop. Is it? This is the workshop? This... What is this? The hell was that? Um... I captured as many as I could. Captured what? Captured? of my friends, those that turned. I'd hoped that the curse was reversible. Curse, curse. But that ain't the case, right? Aye. But why do you keep them there then? Couldn't kill them by myself, there's too many. Wait, you've been living here, sleeping here, with that noise pounding? Are they like in the basement of this building or something? Heh, <laughs> aye. Yeah, this guy has lost it. Will you help me end my friend's misery? Yes. That's the spirit, huh? I'm sorry, friends. Down we go? Oh my god. All of the gnomes that turned. Here we go. Time to put them down. Alright, so the first thing we're gonna do, when it's Ka's turn at least... Um, let's do track, lowers enemies' mind and toughness. Let's just go ahead and start swinging. Um, the first- Oh my god, that is an incredible amount of damage. Let's go ahead and do Inferno. Oh, there's- these guys aren't that strong. Let's go ahead and fight. Miss. Great! Good, that's what we needed. Massive thorns. Yeah, these guys aren't strong at all. It's kind of really dark, though. These used to be- his friends that succumb to the frost crafters light, you know, that's really depressing. Fraja grew to level 7, Sake grew to level 7. Good. They fell easier than I thought. Taught them badly, I guess. Heh. <laughs> that's sad. That's really sad, actually. Thank you, Pale. Ka grew to level 7. And what are these? Training dummies? What are those, like, puppets in the top right? Yeah, that's sad. Can we sleep here? What are these? Find, find, yes, find peace in your dreams. Keeping guard, are you? Good boy. Are these dogs? Aw. 
keeps dogs here? Doesn't look like we can rest here. Well, it was good that we went and completed that side quest. Uh, I'm gonna go back to the village and heal, heal real quick before we keep going. Okay, so I went back to the village and I got some health and I also gave all of us anti-frost torques. The old skaldic runestone glowing warm like it always does. Um, I figure we're probably going to be up against a lot of frost enemies um, that can inflict frost, so I figured, hey, let's prepare for that, because it's probably inevitable. Here we go. Through the dark ice. Here, here's the path. The frost. Can you, can you feel it? I am the same. Can you smell it? Frost things, they are here. Watch their attacks. The frost can freeze you in place, makes you slow, really slow. We should watch her. The frost crafter's here. He might affect her. I trust Sake. Thank you. Stupid, stupid humans. So stupid. Just shut it, you paranoid little gnome. She's coming with us. Yeah, of course. I just thought we should watch out. Nothing more. Don't touch her. Oh, trust me, you don't have to worry about that. Yeah, because if he does, he's gonna die. You used to laugh all the time. I remember you making Toyvio crack up. What? Sake? <laughs> oh, I. She'd never stop laughing, kind of like me now. It's hard to picture her like that. It's like, you know, the frost has changed her in more ways than one. Imagine just being cast out by her village. Okay, Frost Stalker. Well, I am happy we have Ka on our team. Of course, we're just missing left and right. Great. And we got Day's effect. Perfect. I can't remember how much health these guys have, but I think fire is the best way to deal with them. Good lord. I'm going to use fire on one of them. Yeah, that does a lot more damage than my attacks, unless they crit. I'm hoping these guys at least give us some really good experience. Come on. Come on. Come on. Four experience points? Good lord. I gotta go back and heal again. Okay, we're back. I'm... I really gotta be more careful with these guys. I think I need to liberally use my fire spells here. It's clearly what they're weak against. So when it comes to Ka here, let me see. I mean, most of these guys can just... That's eight mind, though. I think it's better to just use the, the one fire ability I have. Or the fire sticks? Freeze wounds. These guys can heal themselves. Okay... And I know the fire sticks are a great way for the rest of us to attack them, but I kind of want to save them for like a boss type creature. I feel like they should give more experience points. These guys are brutal. As soon as I get level 10 though, I can multi-class. Oh no. Body, dead body. I, birds in the frost. Sacrifices for the frost crafter. His spawns leave them here in the ice. Sick. Let's see if they left his stuff on him. What? He ain't needing him anymore. Sounds good to me. Ka's all for it. And that is... Iron Knife, which we don't need. We do not need that at all. So I will be selling that as soon as I can. Any frost enemies? We need some experience points. We gotta class up here. Oh, I'm just gonna... go crazy with Ka here in a second. Skill, Inferno. Oh, We're gonna go with Frost Creature. I think he's... In fact, he can heal. Oh, come on. Or that. That'll work. We're not getting affected by Frost, though. It was a really good idea, equipping the Frost Torque here. Makes us a lot sturdier. Status effects are absolutely devastating in this game. Like, all of them do damage and have some sort of additional effect. It's crazy. So doing whatever you can to stay away from getting affected by status is, like, 
absolutely vital. At least from what I can tell so far. Anything down here? Any interesting... Extras? Treasures of any kind? Hello, hello? Nothing at all? I have a feeling we're probably coming up on some either some tough enemies or a boss or something like that here soon. So I am probably going to save again. Uh, I'm going to save right now because I have no idea what that is. That is an enemy. What is this? Forgotten soul and a darkness husk. These are spirit enemies. Um, we'll take out the soul. We'll just fight. Oh, that was a crit. Okay, ensnare. This is odd. Medicine, so they can heal as well. Is this the first soul-based enemy we fought? It might be. Okay, that's terrible. What are we doing? This is this is bad. I think I need to actually like pay attention to what I'm doing here. Um Massive Thorns Fire Please go. Is that a zombie? Or this game's version of a zombie? Cuz it has so much health. Please go down. Of course, a miss. Okay. <sighs> Nine experience points. You gotta be kidding me. Two level eights now, though. What is this? Just another body? Okay, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. There's gotta be something more than that. We're gonna heal everybody up. Herbs are important, right? Right. Hello. We're just taking your thing immediately. What did you have for us? A padded shield. Well, we have like 20 of those. So that's not really helping us. Was that it? You gotta be kidding me. Okay. So obviously our path forward is somewhere this way. Good lord, those guys are tough. I feel under-leveled, you know? I feel really under-leveled, and I'm not sure if I'm supposed to feel that way. What is this? Oh, frost enemy. Okay, another... Do I have enough mind to just kind of blow them all up? Um, skill, track, no... Do I? I do, but that's it. Come on. Oh, dude, we can't we can't be missing at this point, guys. Come on, get it together. No misses here. It's ridiculous. You guys are my first string. Think about Tyke. What would Tyke want? Tyke would want us to land every shot. These guys we should just be able to take out with basic attacks. And Ka has no mind left. I need to refill that. Um as soon as this battle's over. Hail grew to level 9, 8, okay. So we're getting close to being able to go... Uh, get some classes going here. Needle and thread, roasted herbs, men's wounds better. Husk soothes the mind. Good, we're all- we're already out of that. Great. So we're going to reheal again, that's good. We are already running out of resources. This game is unforgiving. The hell are we now? Frost enemy. Just one? Uh, I'm gonna save my ability. If it's just one of them, we should be okay. Just don't miss, guys. Well, we lost the coin flip on that one. That's fine. Frost goes away. Good. Two experience points is is a ripoff for that guy. Absolute ripoff. And where are we going now? Are we walking in a giant circle? I feel like we are, unless the layout of this place is just really weird. What about this way? There's another one of those guys. 
What are these things? These like marionette guys on the ground. Or hanging up. The first place we saw them was in the workshop. Oh no. This is terrible. Let's go with, um... We're gonna go with a fire stick on the frost spawner. And we're gonna go with... I'm gonna go with Inferno here because this can get ugly really bad. Let's... Or really fast. Fire stick. Frost all. We tank it. Um... Stalker. Good. One down. We're gonna go on the hunter, because these guys have the... Okay, good. That was the right call. So we're just gonna fight now. Alright, Ka, up next. Or die, that's okay. Um, fire stick. These guys are brute. It's, it's like a boss fight. If I don't have another fire... St or if I run out of fire sticks here... It's game over. Please! Please! Swing! <sighs> fight! Don't attack, don't attack. Good! Oh. <sighs> Frost stick found. That helps me literally not at all. What is this? This better be worth it. The black drug. What is that? Oh, this is Sake's sister here. Interesting. Don't call me that. That is what you are. Still. Not anymore. Just leave. Like the last time. Forget like you did before. There is no place in the hidden village for monsters. If that is what you want, please let us go. So, I'm sorry, Sake. That's why she didn't want to go in there earlier. I need something from my home in the forest. Something I left behind. If we pass by there, then please let us get it. Of course. Thank you. So, real quick, I do want to mention something. Let me talk to the Scald again. Back again. Are you ready to let me guide you through a new path? Oh, yeah. No, not yet. Okay. Um, I want to mention something here. That we talked to this guy. And he told us that there is a gnome that is kind of like with the frost. His name is Coldbrand, and he wants us to go take him out, basically. So he said he was in the mushroom forest to the east. And I say, you know, reward could be pretty good for doing it. Uh, that would be right here. Let's see. He said he sent a gnome to help us scout. The forest, it's almost quiet. Take my hand. I can lead us closer to my old home if you want me to. Lead the way. She does need to pick something up here. Uh, what do we need here? I think it was over here? This way? I don't remember where it was. But there should be a gnome here helping us. Oh, what's this? One of them. It can smell the warmth of my hearth. Let's burn, burn, burn them. They will not have my home. All right, let's burn them. I agree with Ka. Let's see whose turn it is first. These guys do so much damage, it's crazy. Uh, we're just gonna fight that guy. Miss, of course. And I'm thinking, good lord. Let's just burn him. If we get a crit, it's better than a burn. Like, it's that strong. Come on. Unless they knock us out first. Yeah, see, he's doing... Tw tw okay. <laughs> Give me this crit. Good husk found. Fraja grew to level nine. We're almost... We're almost there. Wait here. Thank you. When we have the time, I would like to return to my sister. As soon as we can. Thank you. So... Where's Coldbrand, though? 
because that was a part of our mission, if I'm correct. Said there would be a gnome here to help us scout it out. I don't want to take too long from the main quest, especially... All right, well, let's go, let's go give this back to the sister first. And then I want to talk to the guy again. Maybe we can only have one active at a time or something like that. I have no idea. So let's go see what we picked up. Maybe it's like a doll or something. I wonder. Of course, we're going to heal. It's only two coins. TP or whatever. Do, 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 do. Heal up the party. Thank you, gamer. Let's go ahead and head back here. And we're going to... Actually, right here. Leave me alone. I came to leave this. What? It's a scarf you made for me before I left. It has many holes, but still, it kept me warm through the cold winter nights. I wanted to give it back. You... you kept this... ugly thing? Yes. I never forgot you. Sake. I will leave now. No. Do you know why I left before? I did not want to curse you by accidentally touching you. That's why I must leave again. No. But keep the scarf. It will hold the warmth in you. You were right, Kilta. The hidden village is no place for monsters. Sake grew to level 9. Let me show you something. This guy right here with the, the fire stick, these guys, he makes the decision of who in the village to burn. And by talking to him, we realize Sake does not like this person at all. She thinks he just spreads fear and, and is a murderer and, and has turned the whole village into, you know, people that are basically hating on these, you know, people that are about to turn by the Frost Crafter. Now they basically turn into zombies that eat other gnomes made of frost, so it's like, you know, this is a tough situation for sure, but yeah, not a fan. The winds hide somewhere in the mushroom forest to the east. My candle holder is there. Okay. Um, I kind of want to continue on with the main quest real quick. And here's the candle holder. Humans, you must be the strangers Peiko told me would come, right? Yes. Good. I've burned up the snow that was hiding to the path or hiding the path to the winds. I feel cold, frost and ice are close by. The winds, this is the group led by Coldbrand. They hide in the westernmost part of this part of the forest. But a warning, there's many cursed gnomes there, the ones that the frost winds cast out. <sighs> they hide behind their old comrades, it's sick. Please kill Coldbrand, save us. Okay, I am ready to kill these crazy, silly group of gnomes. The westernmost part of this forest. So where is it exactly? Maybe I should head west. Great idea. So... Cold brand. Oh, this way? I don't know. Some husk, no, but actually, if there's any items here that can help us with the fight, it's going to be a very good thing. This way? I don't recognize this area. Yes, we're, we're on the right track. Curse Gnome, we're definitely on the right track. These guys don't have much health, so just one of these is no problem. Yeah, these guys are weak. Okay. Three exp and they give three experience points? Good lord, good thing we came here. Look at that old iron piece. Makes him look almost sweet, huh? The Frost Crafter. This is the Frost Crafter? This is the first time we've seen any actual imagery of the Frost Crafter. This is going to be a place that's great for experience, too. It's uh, really depressing to think that these were our friends at one point. Or Sake and Ka's friends. But, unfortunately, we don't really have a choice here. And Sake is about to die. 
Can I please use that? Good. Can I please use a different item to heal? Awakens one ally. Oh, the black drug is something that... All right, this is actually very bad, though. Skill, scout, track. Um, let's go ahead and fight these guys. Well, she's... Or Sake's healing fine. These guys actually are a little stronger than I'm giving them credit for. Come on, we can't be missing right now. They do do a lot of damage. Okay, survived. Level 10, let's go. Let's go. This is so exciting. I can't wait to do the, um, like the class upgrade. It's going to be so cool. All right. Back to the task at hand. Where is Cold Brand? Cold Brand. I can feel the icy chill. Who is this? Frostwind. We're forced to live here, hiding from our fallen brothers. Oh, this is actually... Those candle holder, they've murdered so many of us, but we can fight can't fight them. Not with that bastard Peiko in charge spreading his lies. Coldbrand keeps us safe. Without him, we'd all be dead or worse. So where's Coldbrand then? We battle the ice with cold. Instead of hiding behind fire, we fight. Right. Now, what if I were to tell you I'm actually here to kill Coldbrand? Would you fight me? Or like what what uh this is Cold Brand. Humans? Peiko, he sent you. Cold Brand, outcast, cursed. These guys don't seem bad. What are you doing here? Sake? Only a matter of time before Peiko sent someone to gut me. Didn't expect humans, though. Are you turning? You, of all people, shouldn't be asking that question. Are you? Some have turned. The weak. Unsafe. You want safety? Do you? You mean Peiko's safety from fire? Yeah, I've felt that before. It really opened my eyes, so to speak. Especially the left one. Did he burn him? How large a pile of bodies will you let Peiko burn to feel safe? The cold is the only weapon that can shield against the Frostcrafter. Yes, but some... Some of you do turn. Have you left them? Forgotten? Yes. The weak ones, they turn... Sometimes. They would have turned anyway. The Frost would have slaughtered them. It's a sacrifice they paid. It's a risk we all take to protect our home. I know one thing, and one thing good, and that is how to fight. And I fight the Frost. Peiko only knows how to burn, and he only burns our people, nothing else. Heh. <laughs> Fighting the Frostcrafter by turning into him? Yes. Yes, yes. Hmm? Something is coming. Peiko, he followed us here? The Dream Wind. You've come to finish the job yourself, then. Ran out of bodies to burn. I just want you, Coldbrand. Everyone else can return. What? Really? That's so. Under supervision, of course, until we're sure they won't turn into monsters. Figured as much. You heard that? He won't burn you. Not at first. Then? Who knows, huh? I know what your piece is worth. This is a wild side quest. This is this is just a side quest, by the way, and we're learning all of this about the world. This is crazy stuff. This game is awesome. I, I'm, I'm just... I'm so happy we're all experiencing this together. This is so cool. Who should we help? They're both crazy in their own way. But that seems to be the gnome way, I guess. Don't let the winds burn. No one deserves the fire. They tried to do good. I... They're not monsters. We can't let the frost spread and more innocents turn into those monsters. Cold Brand has to be stopped. So who do we fight? Uh, 
this this fro the like the frost crafter's blight is so dangerous, but no. I gotta side with Coldbrand here. Ah We got Peiko. Give it up, candle holders, your leader is dead. You ain't got nothing to fight for no more. We give up, Coldbrand. Good. I don't want to kill no more gnomes. Finally, we're free of Peiko's tyranny. In the end, he was one of the weak ones. Take this as a gift from us. <sighs> was that the right decision? This game really just doesn't... You know, it blurs the line between what's the right decision. Sake grew to level 10. We're going to return to our home now. Would you like to tag along? And are they now in the village here? Murderers, you killed our last hope and let the monsters into our home. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Like, and these decisions you make have sweeping changes on the world, too. This is such a cool game. I feel like we're discovering something new and unknown. Who is this here? Let's talk to him again. So, you killed Peiko and let the winds back into the village, huh? I wonder. That was wise. But as long as we don't fight each other and stand united, we should be safe. <sighs> Peiko's burners are gone. And now the winds remain. We will make the other gnomes see the strength in the cold. Without it, we will fall against the Frostcrafter. Well, don't deliberately spread this. Guys. That can't be your plan. You. You helped my people. The others look at us with fear and disgust, whispering, chattering when our backs are turned. Let the weak look. Let them whine at the wind. Without the strong, they'd be food for rats and nothing else. Well, let's get... At least we can get to classing. Back again? Are you ready to let me guide you? Which one wants to learn the new path? Remember to buy new equipment for the one that finds its new path. Let's do... Sake. Level 10. What do we want to do? Missile holder, carrier of the rituals and songs of the people, healer and bender of nature. Would you like to take this path? Yes. I already know this is what I want her to be. Then walk the path of the missile holder. Bring the growth and the green where only darkness dwells. Awesome! Great. So Sake is now a missile holder, officially. So... She needs all new... Stuff. Helmet. Frost Torque. She does need a new weapon, for sure. Um, Fraja I can't upgrade yet. But let's go ahead and do Pale. Um, Pale. What do we want Pale to be? Frostwind, fast as the storm, cold as the frost, both warrior and healer. Would you like to take this path? Um... Sure, and then I'll make... Fraja the other one. Ride the path of the storm. Cool, we don't want all missile holders. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Didn't... Okay, so now... Oh, cool, I have a new graphic. This is so cool! Frost Claw? But my mind goes up big time with the claw. But the iron raises my quickness. I feel like this is better. Can I equip both? No, I can't. I can do the padded hood. I can do the frost torque again. Um. Wait, does this say weapon for both? I think I'm going to do the iron hook. Can I not have a shield with this? Okay. Let me go ahead and check out the stuff we can buy. This is really exciting now. This is cool. This is cool. All right. What do you got? What do you got? Let's look. Um, we don't want any of the bronze weapons here. Padded hide. 
No, no, no. Leather robe, padded robe. We'll buy a robe. Um, and what can we do claw-wise? Um, what, what, wait a minute. What weapons can a missile holder have? Oh, raise his mind a little. Yeah, this is definitely what we want here. Magic drum made of iron damages all enemies. Wait a minute, though. Do I want a drum? That's so cool. Or do I want the thing that raises mind a little bit? If she's a healer and a caster, I don't know the drum though. Let me go with the drum for now. Um, we'll be finished. Okay, perfect. So pale, we're gonna give. Oh, already has the iron hook, padded robe, robe, drum. Okay. Is the fetish a one-handed weapon, though? You know? Let me let me just grab that real quick. Just in case, right? Just in case, just in case. Okay. Because money's not super hard to come by in this game. Yeah, see, the fetish I can have in one hand. I'm going to do that. It's 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 not worth it to lose the extra defense. Okay. That's good. Let's go ahead and head back to the main quest now. I think we've done all we can in terms of upgrading our characters. We healed up. It is now time. We're way stronger now, so uh this should be interesting here. All right, let's head back. We also have more husks. Got lots of stuff now. Should be good to go in terms of, you know, battling the frost. Crazy side quest, man. It's, it's a tough decision because yes, this, this decision inherently does put the rest of the villagers in danger, but like they weren't even treating those guys like fellow gnomes really, you know? It, it just, it, it wasn't right. It wasn't right. Two misses in a row. Two misses in a row. Come on. Don't do me like that. There we go. I guarantee you one of them's going to hit level 10 now. Oh, no, never mind. I thought like as soon as we left, I'm like, okay, they're going to hit level 10. And is that... Oh, already? Everything looks the same in this twisted place cold and dark oh yes he's been a busy little boy hasn't he building and molding his little nest <laughs> it's a little strange huh 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 hmm it's cold I remember the tist berries that grew near the tinker bears Yes, they bloomed in the deepest nights of winter, finding warmth from the frost. Toivio showed me. No. <laughs> I did. Is it a long way left to go? I not long, long, long now. This guy has an interesting way of communicating. All right, so after a quick little reprieve, we are on again with our quest. And I got no clue what we're in store for here. Ooh. Why do we keep seeing these marionettes on the ground? Oh, spirits. Okay. That is a light husk. Um, We're going to go ahead and try to take these guys out first. That did no damage at all. That did a lot of damage. Dust all. That guy's a caster in the back, but I think this is still our best decision here. Soothe, soft voices, snow, calls a snow, a storm? A snowstorm? Hell yeah, that's cool. This should be enough to take him down. 
What is he doing? Don't heal. Don't heal yourself. Come on. Don't miss. Stop missing. What are you doing? Quit your casting. These guys do give a lot of experience, though, so... I have so much health. Survived. Okay, Fraj is level 10, so next time we go to the village, we can uh, update her classing to whatever the one on the left is. I think it's like the Nutcracker. I'm pretty sure that's just like a pure warrior. If I remember correctly. And we see these like little wooden like toys on the ground or something like that, like little wheels or something. I don't know what it is. Okay. You guys should be fun. Uh, we'll do that on the Forgotten Soul. 69 damage. Fire. Burn ya. Ouch. Yeah, that, uh... Weapon that Sake has definitely does not do a lot of damage, but... She probably has useful skills, at least. Fraj is dazed. Um, let's go ahead and soothe... Fraja. I need to check her new skills, actually. I haven't checked Sake's new skills at all. Root, dust, heal, cold defense, massive thorns. Okay, so we can root enemies now. That's really good. That's so good. Because root does so much damage over time. Ka's now level 10. Okay, we can do two class upgrades. Alright, we are seeing more and more of these strange bodies as we progress. And another... Gnome that has succumbed to the frost. Just one of these guys should not be a problem. Yeah, that did no damage. Come on, we can't be missing though. I swear, there's so many misses in this game. Okay. Alright. We just take immediately, what's this? Padded robe? Leather robe? Leather robe. Yeah, I don't think we need that. At least not until we... Hmm? You smell that? What? Do one of y'all fart? There's a draft right here. Smells like... Smoked wood. Would you look, look at that, huh? Look at it. A hidden path. By the smell of it, I'd say it leads back outside. With a little rope, sweat, and time, we can make it usable. Oh, I see. If they, uh, if we want to go back to the village real quick. Um, I don't really think I need to just yet. Let's go ahead and save. And if we fail this incoming boss fight, then maybe. What is this? Maybe. We might need to here in a second, actually. It depends on how many um, more enemies we gotta fight. Oh, wait, no, I should class up. I should class up. Let me kill this guy. Let me go, let me go take care of that real quick and... Fire stick found, okay. What are we gonna make Ka then? That's what I'm wondering. Oh, we now just have a shortcut in general. That's so cool. So I want to make Fraja a nutcracker, but what do we make Ka? That's the real question. Huh. I don't know. Because he's like, he's a caster, right? You know? Do I make him another missile holder? I don't know. Or do I make him a frost wind? I don't think I make him a nutcracker. Let me go check over here. Let's see, let's see, let's see. All right, talk to the Scald. Guide me along a new path. Let's do Fraja first. Nutcracker, strong as the winter birch, can break the darkness and protect loved ones. Would you like to take this path? Yes. Stand strong, defend those weaker, and break the darkness with your might. Okay. Um, let's go ahead and get Fraja set up here. Iron spear we can use. Iron knife we can use. That spear, though. Look at that damage. If I do the iron knife, then I can 
have increased toughness. But that damage, though. Um, helmet, we can do padded hood. Torque, we want the small frost torque again. And let's go ahead and get Ka, the last one. Nope, already walked the path. Come on. Blah, 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 blah. Ka. All right. I, I, I don't know what to pick here. If his mind increases, I should make him a missile holder, right? Right. Or frost when I can give him... I'm, I'm gonna go with missile holder. No, or I'm gonna do the I'm 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 gonna do the frost wind. Another balanced character. Another balanced character. I'm 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 deciding it, especially because I can get the claw weapon with this class, which also increases my mind. Yeah, I think that's the right call. Um, we'll do the small frost work. So his toughness is down, but I mean, he's got high mind and high uh, or decent strength too, and some good quickness. I think it's the right call. Okay, everybody, that's going to be it for episode two, I think. Um, this game is getting more and more interesting. We did some really cool side quests, learned so much more about the world of this game. It's so exciting, and I can't wait to experience the next episode with you guys. Thank you for joining me on this game that, you know, it feels like we're discovering something with this. It's such a hidden gem, in my opinion. I love you guys very much. Please be safe, and I will see you in the next one.